What's up friends? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Elizabeth. This is EJ Joyful Plans and I am sharing with you a rare plan with me uh, for October, the month of October in my Laurel Denise social media planner. This is not a planner I show a lot because there's information on here that I can't really share, but I'm hoping I can kind of set it up today without actually populating information so that I feel like I'm just, I'm not sharing information I can't let, I can't spill the beans, you guys. No beans can be spilled. Um, so we're gonna set up October and I hope this is helpful for those of you that do social media on the side and are looking for a way to organize your content. Um, I did a mock-up spread uh, for a couple of months ago and it really worked for me and so, um, yeah, I'm continuing it on into October. The sticker book I'm using today is Autumn Days. I've used this once already. This is a stunning sticker book and I will put release information uh, down below. This is from Kesthetic Plans and this is available at a discount rate. I have a coupon code or discount code JOYFUL10. I'll always save you 10% off at Kesthetic Plans. So I will link her shop down below. It is an affiliate link. So let's get into it again. This is the Laurel Denise Planner. It's a vertical, which I don't love a vertical. Um, so I am switching to, I'm going to try the Project Planner and a small horizontal planner for next year, but we're making it work for me because I want to use what I have. Now, um, the way that I use this planner is, let me move this over. I use the monthly for my content, the weeklies for content. Um, and then on the back of the weeklies, we have this dot grid section. This is where I actually like to connect it to the monthly. So because these weekly sheets are shorter, you're able to see your monthly and your weeklies and this last page all in one glance. And so I'm going to extend the weeks across and this is going to be where I log uh, promotions and upcoming releases for the month. So in this first week, what's coming out? Uh, this week, what's coming out and so on. And then over here on this open final page before getting into November, I will put the um, content tracking information. Hold on, we're having phone, phone issues. Let me plug it in because I would hate if my phone died in the last minute. So this is just an open full sheet and this is where I will track um, follower subscriber count for the month, the um, my income for the month, and again, the content where I'm at in um, different pieces of content. So um, let's get into it with Autumn Days. So this has been kind of a content hub and I really like decorating it a lot. So we're going to start here. Um, but I like sectioning off this big grid using the weekly page. So what I'm going to do is grab a pen. Do I have a ruler nearby? I should have gotten all of my stuff ready. I'll just grab this guy. Um, and... This sheet pretty much ends on this line. So I'm going to draw a line on the page. And I like that this is dot grid, so I can basically just follow the dots all the way across. Okay. Now I've got three different sections, and when I have my weeklies open, I can see like the... Okay, let me back up. Because this is a big section, I am often tempted to just write in this section. And that's fine if I want more space, but I don't need this big of a block. And it was kind of annoying when I was working on my weeklies to see like middles of words, right? Because I'm writing all the way across this way. And then when this is open, I, yeah, I see parts of words and stuff like that. So actually separating this so that when my full spread is open, I see my monthly, my weekly, and then whatever is in this column and this column is great. Now, what I've done in previous months is I've done my content tracking here, and I want to be able to see it in my monthly and weekly uh, 
view. So I want to move my content tracker over here. You guys following me so far? Probably not. It will make sense. Stick with me. This might be a longer video. Um, and I really like seeing deco, like decorations. So I think I'm going to have information here, decoration here, and then information here. Now, let's get the base um, foundation, like the deco set, and then... Um, then I'll start putting information in. I know that seems kind of counterintuitive, like don't decorate first, like put in what you need to put in first, but I just like to get the vibe going. And I really want to put down a big scene. I wanna make a big scene. Um, so I have used some of these stickers already. Um, but, I haven't used the bridges yet. I love the trees. So do I want to use clear or paper? I think I want to use clear. And see, I've used some of these stickers already. I think I think I can get this guy to fit. Let's see if this will fit in that center section. Basically right. Oops, did that move my I move you guys can I put it here I can pull it up just a little bit like so we're gonna just drop it right here so now when my weeklies are open I still see the illustration Ooh, I love it so pretty um, I think I want it to stay within, <clears throat> excuse me, within the section though. So I'm going to take my slicing tool. I need to get another ruler. I feel like I need another ruler in my life. And hopefully I'm going to slice this and hope I can lift this up. Let's see. If it starts to lift the paper, then I will stop always that balance of like you want to trim it or you want to press hard enough for the cut to make it through but you don't want to I didn't want to cut through the paper either let's see if that did anything Ugh, if I can get this guy up this is going to be definitely a different plan with me than usual Hope you guys don't mind seeing a couple different types of planners and layouts, but it's still like Elizabeth style. You guys know I like scenes, but I also like functionality. And there is, I need my tweezers. There is an order to the way that I decorate. Come on, come on. I need to trim this more, so we'll try again. All the way there. Come on. Okay, this is gonna be problematic. There we go. All right, so we've trimmed that off. The question is, do I want do I want to trim it this way? I'm not really sure that I do. Um, what would I lose? I'd lose a bird. Do I wanna lose the bird? Uh, maybe I do actually, um, because that'll create more structure. So I want this to be decorative, but I really want a good um, space over on this right column for some lists I'm gonna be making. So, come on, there we go. Of course, we're gonna spend five minutes laying down one sticker. Just wait, you guys, just wait. Actually, you know what, I don't wanna waste. Can I throw him down somewhere else? Well. I don't think I can. Okay, so here we have our very, very clear deco. I love it. I'm gonna go ahead and press this down. Whenever I'm done with a clear sticker, like it's laid, I know that I'm not gonna move it. I press it down with a bone. It's a paper folding tool. And I try to just get as much of the air out as possible. This gets a little tricky with the Laurel Denise planner because we've got some different heights that we're working with. So I'm just putting a ruler underneath here to level out the playing field 
and instantly when you press it down, these clear stickers get so much more vibrant. Absolutely lovely. Okay, so let's grab some. Um, there's also some really pretty like sky pieces. I'm gonna add some sky up here and this is going to fit perfectly in that section. Look at that. We're gonna get very functional in a minute for those of you that want to see the function. Now, I think I want this section to be for, I could have it be for notes or I could have it be my income and expenses tracker. Do I wanna throw boxes down? Let me see what we've got. I do have, I can go into my oh, dashboard black boxes. These are gonna be, ooh, but look at these mini ones. I think I wanna use these mini ones. So these are the little boxes that are part of the Mojo Jojo Plans dashboard stickers, but they these little boxes are smaller than the normal ones. And I think that could be perfect for just anything I want to log, like expenses or income. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay, steal these guys from the dashboard boxes. Um, Mojo Jojo Plans functional box sticker books are excellent. They're a favorite of mine. And um, again, Joyful 10 will save you 10% um, off at checkout if you decide to pick anything up from Mojo Jojo Plans. I always put my affiliate information, um, links, and coupon codes down in the description box. So if you're ever wondering like, oh, does she have a discount code? Um, maybe. Definitely check the... Uh, the uh, box down below. I'm just gonna put a bunch of these down. I don't know um, what I'm going to be buying. I don't know where my income is going to come from, at least when it comes to uh, social media. So um, I'm just gonna lay these guys down. I'm gonna do two columns if there's enough. Hopefully there's enough. Let's find out. And I'm actually gonna keep it, I wanna keep it consolidated, no. We're gonna go to the edge. I'm definitely putting these in crooked. Don't recommend putting them in crooked. So this will be kind of budget related tracking for the month. Um, social media is really interesting as we get closer to the holidays when it comes to sharing product and you know doing plan with me's and stuff. People tend to purchase more for gifts and stuff. You know, it's like the holiday season, people are buying presents. And um, so my coupon codes get used more in the fall, which is actually really nice and, and helps my family out. So I wanna make sure I track all of that. They're definitely crooked. Oh, Melanta, that's really bad. <laughs> Sorry guys, those don't look cute. Actually, that looks quite not cute. Mm, do I wanna change it? No, we don't have time. We are going to keep moving. And yeah, maybe I'll change it later. We'll see, we'll see. Okay, so the next piece on this page, and I'm trying to kind of stay to one side at a time because this gets, um, this planner is so wide, it can be hard to kind of track things. So um, the next thing I'm going to do is create my content calendar. Okay, well not calendar, excuse me. I'm going to create the the different mm, steps that I need to, to complete for each piece of content, if that makes any sense at all. So um, I'm going to relabel up here because to do this month, while accurate is not exactly, it doesn't tell the whole story of what is going on in this section. So, and I wanna add some something to it. So maybe we'll just do some leaves, some like fall leaves kind of trickling. Let's see how that works. If I do some like leaves like that, and then I'm gonna add, actually let's press this guy down and then place this 
right here. All right, now this is going to get interesting because the last time, the last monthly that I did the content calendar like this, I actually didn't, not calendar, I keep saying calendar, the tracker, content tracker, I did it on the dot grid section. <clears throat> so my lines were a lot more straight. But here's the idea. When I create a reel or a static picture on Instagram or a video for YouTube, there are multiple steps that go into the video suddenly showing up on YouTube. I have to film the video. Sometimes I have to edit the video. I have to take a nice picture for the thumbnail. I need to design the thumbnail. I need to write a description. I need to create some sort of advertisement for it in my Instagram stories. And then of course the video goes live. So there are multiple steps that um, go into creating content. And I sometimes I do batching, meaning I will film a bunch of videos all at once or, um, once I've done, I'll take all my pictures all at once and they could be on different days. So one piece of content could take me multiple days because I'm breaking up the steps into different days. And sometimes I forget what have I already done for a video, if that makes sense, or for um, a static post or for a reel. So that's what this is going to cover for me. So, and I think, how am I going to do this? I, d I don't have a ruler that is long enough. I used to have a ruler long enough. Hold I do have a ruler long enough. Sweet niblets, you guys. I have a ruler. It's from Target. Okay, so there are seven steps I usually take for a piece of content. And so I want seven columns. And I don't want to run into my divider tab. So I'm using a Tombow N89. It is a really light gray. So when I don't want to add color, man, I hope this is straight. So much depends on your um, ruler actually being straight and also the angle of your Tombow because it's a brush pen, right? So it's going to smush. It's going to smush. So this always makes me nervous. So the sticker is going to this sticker goes down that far. So we want to make sure that we like maybe stay, hold on a second. We want to make sure that the lowest doesn't go any higher than the four and a half mark. So I'm going to move this guy over and start at the four and a half mark. And I'm just gonna go all the way down. And then I'm gonna leave a space and go all the way down. Ooh, I had some residual pen on there. Actually, it looks kind of cool. It's like ombre. All right, creating a little space four and a half, going all the way down. That one looks a little bit closer. I need a little bit more room. And all the way down. So I've just created one, two, three, four, five, six, seven columns, which is the number of columns I want. Now I'm gonna take the other side, which is just a bullet tip, and I'm going to go horizontally via vertically and go across. See, this is why I don't ever film this planner, setting up this planner, because I feel like it's a really, it's a unique situation. So, um, and it's not really relevant to a ton of people. Okay, so now I'm gonna go, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, okay. Now I'm going to start at the four and go to the seven. And I'm going to try to stay as consistent as possible on the distance from the four to the seven. And I'm just going to create lines all the way down. This would be so much easier if there were dots. But again, I used to do it on the dot grid section, but I didn't like that I couldn't see it when my weeklies were open. 
So this is setting me up to be able to see my content progress while also seeing my monthly and my weekly at the same time. Y'all wonder why my I always seem frazzled in my stories or I'm stressed or I'm talking about my job or, you know, just how busy I am. It's because there's just so many details in my life that um, require so much attention. Like everything is so intricate, you know. And I want to make my life more simple. But the nature of some of the things in it just, it's just not simple. So. All right, do I go all the way down? I'm not quite sure if I want to go all the way down. Let's just keep going for kicks. Can I move this a little bit? So now... Now I'm just trying to follow equal distance between lines all the way down to the end. I'm gonna have to switch. So hopefully you guys are doing something. I need to go this way, but it's gonna be hard to see. It's gonna be hard to see. Hope you guys are doing something fun while watching this multitasking perhaps all right can you guys see what i'm doing here so let me add the categories so you can get a sense for what the what's going on so here we have um so basically i've created seven columns and because there was residual on my ruler it created this like orange but basically this is the column for filming this is the column for editing. This is for photo. This ink is, this is way too thick of a pen. Film, edit, photo, upload. Um, I know the last one is gonna be, actually maybe I don't put post upload, thumbnail, I'll put thumb, then I'll put description, description, and then advertise, which is just letting people know that it's up, usually on my stories. So these are the steps that I go through for a piece of content. And then I think what I want to do over here is um, do a line for date posted, like when it was posted. And for that, I'm going to, let's see, start here. And then I think I can actually just go from here down. And I'm going to do, oh, I wish there wasn't, hold on. We're going to Wipe this guy off. Let's go again. Oh my gosh, this is bad. You know, I think the color is transferring from my brush tip. I think that's what's going on. I don't love that. I don't love that for me. <laughs> okay. And last one. Okay. And if anybody's wondering, why are you doing this? Like, it's because I like it. It's fun. Okay, so this is the post date. So this is going to be the date that it is posted. So I'm going to put date here. And then I'm going to put description here. Description. And then this is going to be content. There we go. All right, so the idea is that, and I'll just populate one thing in here. Um, I'm gonna put in, let me grab a pen that's not so juicy. 
Um, that's a little not juicy enough. Let's try this one. Let's see how I feel about this one. Um, actually, no. How about... Where's the pen by Railing Lot? Ooh, I do love a Uniball Air. Let's go with the Air Pen. Um, so I know that I'm going to have a um, plan with me. Um, Laurel Denise October. So the video type is plan with me and it's for October and I'm using the Laurel Denise planner. So I'm going to put the date that it ends up getting posted here. But then as I go, as I complete each task, I'm going to check it off. So there is the, and you know what? I feel like we need some, I want a clean black line here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Voila. So this is going to be my running content for the month of October. I can track where I'm at with the content. The date, I could also put maybe like when it's maybe the due date. I'm not quite sure yet. But that is kind of going to correspond with the next page we're going to set up, which is the releases and promos page. So this is the last or this is the back page of the weeklies. Mm, got a little dirty. And I like having this page directly correspond with the monthly calendar. So let's go ahead and keep using this pen just because it's, I don't know, I like the way that it feels. And I'll just show you what that looks like by drawing the lines first. So I've propped this planner up on the wall and I'm going to draw lines from the week to the dot grid page. Hopefully everything is all lined up. And I'm just going to go all the way down. I'm going to do that here as well. Unfortunately, it's not a com like a perfect lineup with the dot grid, but that's okay. I care more that these sections connect to the weeks of the month. So we're going to keep going. So I'm basically kind of making a horizontal out of this last page. And this is really important. This is an important part of my planner because uh, I'm an affiliate and friend of a lot of people and a lot of small brands in the community. Uh, and it's really important to me that, you know, if I know they've got a new product coming out or they send me something to show, I want to make sure that I am like in line with their release schedule. And so that means, you know, some of my content is directly related to, uh, small, you know, small business, um, releases. So having, the release schedule next to this. You could put release calendar stuff here, like promotions and stuff on here, but these boxes aren't big enough to be both my content calendar and like a schedule of releases and promotions. And so that's why I use this page at the end to kind of be an extension of the monthly calendar. And you can do this regardless of what you are planning in this planner, you could have this last page be an extension. I do like to decorate it because it's cute. <laughs> so um, I need short pieces though. That is the hard part. So I think what I'm going to do, maybe I could cut some of these trees down and, or there are some bushes. What do we think? Um, or like trees would be kind of fun. Oh, there's a park bench. This is kind of tricky. Um, and I think I want to stick with this collection of pages too. I probably could put, oh, let me think about that. I could do more blue sky, blue sky and birds, or I could do some orange sky and birds. That could work. Now I really wanna do shrubbery. So let's 
let's do some of these trees and stuff. I'm just gonna have to trim them out a little bit. So I'm going to see how tall these guys are. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna have to do some trimming. Ooh, that's a really small tree though. Ooh, I don't think I can do it. How about these little guys? Would these work or would these be too, too small? I think they're a little bit too small. I think my best bet is going to be doing some sky and some leaves. So let's go back to the sky and I have blue sky. So why don't we do some orange sky up here and we'll go this way with it. And how about some of these, some of this kind of black line and how about the birds? The birds are back. One of my favorite Alfred Hitchcock movies. We'll put we'll put the birds more in the orange so that we can see them. Ooh, she's cute. All right, we're gonna flatten these guys down. And then I'm gonna grab another black box from this Mojo Jojo Plans book. And I think I'll just put it right here like that kind of off and um, I'm just since I used a small sticker and I don't have room for releases and promos I'm just gonna put promos because new releases will be promoted so promo is a more appropriate word um, a consolidated word so we're gonna do promos Mo's. Okay, and then um, just to connect some of this gray, I'm going to just draw a line down here for each of the weeks, and I'm going to number the weeks. So this is this has schmutz on it. So this is week one. I'm gonna do tall skinnies. This is week two, week three. Gotta keep checking to make sure you guys can see me. This is week four, and this is week five. Now, as far as how I'm going to use this, let's go ahead and date October. And I think um, normally I would add I'm not going to add content to this yet because obviously I can't do that. <laughs> but I can maybe just add a little bit of color here. So I'm gonna do that for the dates. I do have stickers if I wanted to date this with stickers. But I think for this month, rather than laying stickers down, I just wanna do the pen. This is a little tricky because of the divider tab. So we'll just kinda go around that and date this guy. I'm curious what you guys use for social media planning. Do you use a digital calendar? I feel like a lot of people are moving to digital calendars, but uh, I don't know. I just don't know if that's my vibe. Obviously I use a digital calendar for work, but I just don't know if I can get behind using it for something that I do for creative purposes. You know what I mean? Okay, so this is for the month of October, which starts on the first on a Sunday. So that makes this easy. And I'm just gonna date this guy. I know this is where it would be super handy for me to edit this video, but I just don't have time in my life right now to sit down and edit. So unfortunately, that means my videos are a bit longer, but I know some of you guys like planning with me and you like taking your sweet time just like I do. So hopefully you don't mind this video being super long. And it's another reason why this is a planner that I don't show myself planning in because um, the setup is a bit involved. <laughs> so um, I really like this undated planner because you can start it on a Monday or a Sunday. But for me with social media, I actually really like starting on a 
Sunday because I think of Sunday as starting the week, at least when it comes to my YouTube channel. Like I like to post plan with me is on Sundays, like right before the start of the week. So, all right, so we have dated this. I haven't done anything up here. Let's add some decor before I date. So gotta go back. And since we've got sky stuff, I kind of feel like, um, I don't know, maybe it should be leaves falling. And there were some pages in this sticker book or a page that had like a stream of stickers falling or leaves falling. <gasps> Did I already use it? Do I need to use the individuals? I think I already used it. Hmm. So I guess I could put... We're kind of coming back to that same tree issue where they're a bit too tall. Let me think about this for a second. I guess I could just do basic leaves. I would like to do a tree though. So maybe I'll put this tree here and Let's see how I can make this work. I'm gonna grab some scissors and this. I'm gonna trim this off. I'm going to lay, let's trim off the top of the tree. And we're gonna to go to the top with that. Right here and let's see I trim off the middle of the tree and see if I can re <laughs> can we do this can we do this and just say that we've got a wonky tree I think we can we can and we will I'm doing it. I'm doing a wonky tree right there. I think I want an orange tree. So I'm going to put, ooh, maybe we do this tall one. It's tall, but I could put the base of it along the line so it will, I don't have to cut the bottom off. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this here. Ooh. Yep, I like it. I like layering clear stickers. Makes it more complicated looking in like a really good way. All right, I need something a little bit shorter. I know we've covered up the date and year, but I can add add that back, so I'm not not too worried about it. Let's grab this little yellow dude and put him right maybe right there. So kind of got like a little ombre action going on. That works. Let's grab a black box. I'm gonna put it right over the month and year, like that. And did I put that down crooked? I sure did, but we're just gonna leave it. And this is where we're going to put October. And I'm gonna put 2023 20, in the box. Okay, so we've got some trees. I feel like we need, we could put a little bench down. Do we have a clear bench? I can't remember. I don't know if it's gonna be small enough though. We could put some leaves down, but those would eclipse this, this little bush. So. I think we're gonna start, do we wanna do something? No, we're gonna leave this. Okay, so let's just take a quick glance of what this looks like all together, okay? So we've got our monthly, and I can do more here if I want to, I'm just not sure yet. I'm gonna put promotions here, 
So the week of the 1st through the 7th, who is releasing something? Are there any sales? Anything that I, I want to talk about, I'm going to put here for this week. Then anything this week goes here. This week goes here. That way this remains a content calendar and this remains a like promotions calendar, okay, for the whole month. I also have this section open. This can be used for anything I want. Like maybe I want to just take some notes for the month or... Um, Let's create some lines for brain dumping or like future planning, future videos. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some horizontal lines here, maybe at the halfway point-ish. Um, <clears throat> and try to get these to be as, oh, see what happens is, I think this is where a Tombow is not a good idea at least not with a ruler. So I'm gonna go freehand all the way down, all the way down. And ideally you can do it without lifting the pen. So you don't have that break. My lines are not straight. Oh my gosh, that was really not straight, but that's okay. Just creating some lines for brain dumping and yeah, this doesn't have to be perfect. Okay, so, and I wish that this went a little bit further. Now we're really gonna have some lines going on here. I probably could leave it, probably could leave it, but now I just want to be consistent. So for this, I'm just gonna put, um, a box and we'll just say next month on it so box here and then I think what I want to do is show you guys the first week of October how I set that up so I'm gonna put this here I think along with um, next month so any video ideas that I have or things I'm looking towards, I can put here. So I've got this section for next month. And since I've got a black line here, maybe I wanna do a black line and just kind of section this off. So I'm gonna go ahead and actually do that. Section this off. Anybody else have whiplash right now? I know, I know, I'm all over the place. Again, this is why I never show this planner is because my setup is a process. So next month, and then I went pretty far here with the gray, so. We're gonna go all the way up. And attach. The other thing I wanna do here is um, my follower and subscriber count. And I think for that, Let's get some fun boxes that actually match the colorway. And then once we're done with that, I'll do a quick, what I think will be a quick setup of the first week so you guys can see how I do that first week. I actually can do, oh, ooh, I can, uh, I can do another fun scene here. So let's do it then. I'm gonna lay down some leaves. Ooh, or I could fit a bridge. No, we're not gonna lay a bridge down. Let me grab some leaves. Get these smaller ones. And I'm gonna put them right here. Then we're gonna go back and grab the, let's do a lamp post. here and since I have a bench facing that way I'm gonna put a bench kind of on the leaves here right here and I could could I put a tree I could I could put a tree maybe I put a red tree I'm gonna take a red tree and I don't want it to go into this section because I've already sectioned it off. So I'm actually just gonna cut it into a straight line. 
or cut a straight line as close as possible. And I'm gonna put it like it's kind of in the back behind the bench, right there. Just to create a little bit of dimension there. And let's flatten it all out. This is the section that I want to put my um, follower and subscriber counts. So let's go and look at the functional boxes. Trust me guys, we're almost done. Actually, let's add, I'm gonna add some blue sky up here because I'm really just adding one or two boxes. So I've got a little bit of room to play here. So we'll lay that down here. And then, oh, do I stick with black boxes? Hmm, this is tricky. I could use matching functional boxes, like ones for Instagram and ones for YouTube. I guess we could do that. So we will add, actually, let's use smaller boxes. The next size down. And I'm going to do the red and the more kind of yellowy color, I think. And we'll go... Let's do that. I'm gonna put the red one here and then the yellow one maybe right here. Hmm, it kind of makes me want to put some birds popping out or something. Or maybe a little bit of some black sky. I feel like it needs, I feel like it needs something over here. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna do a little layering like that. All right, so this is where I will log the start. Uh, at the beginning of October, my follower uh, subscriber count for Instagram and for YouTube. So that is where I'm going to put that. We are almost done, guys. Hang in there. But how cute is this so far? Super functional and adorable. Let's get into getting this set up. And I promise this will be a lot faster. I'm going to use the same pen and hope that I can. Mm, this is always really tricky. I'm always nervous. We're going to go this way. And I'm going to highlight the time section because I'm not going to use this as a time section. I'm gonna use it as a header section for my platforms. So this is going to be where I put my day. So I'm actually gonna take a box, let's take some Some of these Mojo Jojo plan boxes, and I'm gonna put. I wonder if hold on, guys. Um, mini, let's see, these are mini rainbow. This is also Mojo Jojo plans. She's got some skinny boxes in here that might be a good size, but I don't want to introduce some of these colors. So we're gonna stick with the black boxes and I think this one's gonna be too long though. So let's put this guy back and this is going to be for Instagram or YouTube, I haven't decided yet. And then this one is going to be for the other. And put that right here. I need my tweezers. I'm gonna throw this down right there. And then I wanna get another small dashboard box, cutout box. And this is going to be just to kind of hide this, I'm gonna put it here. That fits there nicely. This is going to be today. And then this is going to be you 
YouTube. And this is going to be Instagram. Okay. And then we need to date it and then we're gonna call it good. I do color code things on this and on the monthly calendar. I will put the, if it's a reel, it'll be a color. If it's a static post, it'll be a different color. If it's going to be a, um, uh, a YouTube video, it'll be its own color. So I do, I do color code, but um, I'm not gonna add content on here. This is just FYI, just anything I wanna make a note of. So I'm gonna put FYI. I. So we just need to date and then call it good. So I'm going to grab my, um, where is it? My date it sticker book. This is um, from Mojo Jojo Plans. Since we're just going to, we're going to be brand, we're going to be on brand today since I've already shown a ton of Mojo Jojo Plans stuff. Um, let's go ahead and grab some numbers and we've got paper today, which is nice. Should I use clear? I could use clear. Let's use clear. So I'm going to add the dates right here, like in the corner. And the idea is if there's something I really need to highlight for today, I have room in the box to write it. But I like using bigger numbers just because it's fun to see them pop. So I'm going to throw down some big numbers that don't take up the whole box. And then I'll add the days of the week in the section above. And if I want to decorate it, I can. But I think since this video is already super epic and I don't want y'all to hate me, um, we will cut some of this deco out. But I'm just adding days of the week. And then, you guys, you have seen my October social media planner setup. And one bonus week all in one video. I mean, I think that's pretty rad. But I know it's a lot. Hopefully you guys have been watching me on like double the speed. Okay, so days of the week or the dates of the week are in. Let's throw down some days. And I think I'm gonna do abbreviated days just because it's easier. And maybe I'll make them paper. So we've got, yeah, I think we're gonna do that. We're gonna do Monday. So now with the whole monthly set up, oh, excuse me, I start on Sunday. <laughs> Hold on. So now that I have the whole month set up, and yes, it took time, now all I have to do each week is set up these pages. And I'm like done, you know? So it makes it super easy. I just have to spend a little bit more time on the initial setup to be easy breezy. And this is something that I try to do when Esther is taking a nap because I really don't have time to sit and decorate for an hour. So I've got to find like margins in my day and that usually comes from nap time. Okay, so, all right guys, I think, whew, I think we're done. Let's take a full looky-loo. I wanna make sure you can see everything on here. So here is my monthly, I can see it all. I will color code things as I put down content. So. I usually try to put, oh, I didn't put my dates up. Oh dear, hold on. One last thing that I forgot to do is adding my days of the week up here. And because the space is pretty small, I'm going to use abbreviated. It will also match my weekly, my first weekly. So that is a added bonus. So let me add these in. Or I'll just add one. <laughs> I'll add one so y'all don't have to sit and watch me do this. But um, so I'm just gonna add Sunday 
and let's add Monday and Tuesday so you can see it as well. So we're going to add Monday because I like a Sunday start planner for social media and then Tuesday. Oh, should I just go the rest of the way? I'll just go the rest of the way. Someone's like, no, Elizabeth, just stop. But again, this is the fourth time I'm saying this. This is why I really don't show um, the setup videos for this planner, just because it is very involved. It takes a lot of time, but it's really satisfying to look at over the course of the month. Keeps me motivated to come back and look at it, and that's really important to me. Okay, so we have our monthly, which feeds into our weekly, and now all I have to do is go through and um, date the rest of this I could add some deco here. This is just brain dump space. So it ends up just being kind of a list. But if I don't think I'm gonna use it, I could also just decorate it. So I have my weekly and then if I want to get out of my weekly and see promotions for the week, I just flip to the end of the week section. Then I have a brain dump space for next month. I have my um, content, or excuse me, my follower and subscriber count here. Oh, I need a little header here for um, finances. Hold on, let me grab a box. We're almost done, guys. I promise you, almost done. Um, I'm gonna put this, try to line this up a bit here. And then this is going to be um, income. It's actually income and purchases. So maybe I put, oh man, I should have made that shorter. Let me grab a different box, maybe from the Casthetic Plans book. And maybe I can make it look a little softer. This might be a little too much income. I'm just gonna pull this off actually. That is too bold, and that is not actually what I'm going to be doing with it. I'm going to put this here. It's a smaller box, but um, income plus purchases. Okay, income plus purchases. All right, now I'm really done. <laughs> so I've got um my tracker for starting month end of month follower subscribers i've got notes for the next month i have my income and purchases here and then i have basically my con my content um like in progress guide so when i'm looking at my weekly i love that i can see all in one shot my monthly my weekly if there's anything i want to log for purchases and then where i'm at with content Pretty cool, huh? So we are done, friends. Really sorry this was a long one. Um, one of the longest videos I've had in a while. Oh, wow, looking at an hour. Oh my gosh, this is gonna take forever to upload, but thank you for sticking around if you did watch. I hope that this is helpful. I am a Laurel Denise affiliate, so I have an affiliate link down in the description box and a di uh, discount code. So if you wanna pick anything up, if this was helpful for you in thinking about how you can use the Laurel De Denise planners to get more organized, I hope you'll consider using Joyful 10 to save 10% off of your purchase and shopping with my affiliate link. Come hang out with me over on Instagram. My handle is ejjoyful underscore plans. It is always a good time, friends. And if you want to hang out with me again and see me uh, do plan with me's that aren't quite so long, then please consider subscribing to my channel. Until next time, friend, God bless you. God bless you and keep you. Do something creative today. I'll see you in my next video.